The second thing that worries me is, and this is what I mean by regression. It's worse in Europe than in United States and Canada, from what I can judge. Look, look at the problem of foreigners, immigrants, and so on, where the, the conflict is now in Europe between the rights of the immigrants and, to put it simply, populist democracy. More and more parties are voted in, who knows, even in France, Marine Le Pen, neo-fascists will win, in Italy, Meloni did, in Sweden, in Norway. So what if we are in a situation in which I am referring now to, maybe you heard the name, he was more popular years ago, John Elster, a Norwegian rational action theorist, where he says, we are all saying today that democracy is under threat. But what if the threat is democracy itself in its populist form? Don't we witness more and more today that the majority can be wrong? Oh, boy. <laughs> no, it's sad. It's very sad. It's, it's very, it is very sad. And, you know, if I, if I were in an American campus to right now, I would have a hard time. I mean, the students would come and they would say, come out on the streets with us for Palestine. And I would say, yes, but. And my Israeli friends would say, come here with us. And they would say, yes, but. And I would have nothing but sadness to communicate back with him. The saddest thing for me is this. If the failure of the left to counter populist neoconservatives with a convincing story, vision of the world, however you call it, all the left is offering now is what we call this cancel culture, woke, and so on. Which is so if I, have, if I have anything to offer, it's in the formulations of relationalism. So relationalism says you have different points of view as long as there's a central, a central region of discussion where you agree about the definitions, you can hope to resolve your differences. And that's a dumb thing to say, but that's as much as I can say. That's the difference between rationalism and relationalism. But I don't, I don't think, I think we're way beyond the debate being at that stage or that level, discussing in philosophy class. But I don't know. Um, and I'm part of the, I'm, I'm puzzled and I, I don't, I stop, I, I'm wondering what to write in the next book about, for example. You know, because I, I have opened, I could write another book, I could write another book about science, but I've kind of said it's, what I have to say for now. And on wider things, I, I'm just puzzled. I walk around thinking, what the hell is going on? <laughs>